Would you like to make games for retro systems like the Commodore 64, VIC-20, Spectrum, Atari, and BBC, but you don't want to install lots of emulators, compilers, assemblers, and text editors just to get started? Well, I've got something for you. Stick around. I've actually built a whole bunch of tools, but this is the biggest one. This is the one that I wanted to tell you about today. It's a free online retro IDE integrated development environment. There's no installation. There's emulators built right into it. You can build for the VIC-20, C64, BBC, Spectrum, Amstrad, Atari, MSX, Apple II, IBM PC, a bunch of consoles, and there's more to come. So why have I built this? Yes, there are a whole bunch of tools out there already, some really excellent tools. In fact, I've built on top of open source tools that existed before. But I couldn't find anything exactly what I wanted and what I thought the people who read my blog and watch my videos needed. I wanted something that allowed people to code in basic, see the results immediately and not have to install anything. Just open the web browser, go to the ID and start coding. And I wanted something to allow myself and anybody else to share their code so that we could all look at each other's programming techniques and learn from each other. But one of the major things was the fact that a lot of the tools are only available for Windows, or a lot of the tools require a lot of complex installation, or they need um, build tools, they need to be compiled, you need to download from GitHub, follow a lot of instructions, and I thought there was a lot of people who were put off by that who otherwise would have a lot of fun and get a lot out of coding for these retro systems. Let's take a look at what you can do. So this is obviously the Commodore 64 and this is my basic adventure, my text adventure written in basic. And this is a little bit more modern than the usual Commodore 64 basic, but all it is is you don't need to have line numbers and you can use labels. But other than that, it's pretty much standard. And you can even load the classic Star Trek game from the 1970s that has been brought up to date by Electron Greg. And all the codes there, you can see there's line numbers here. And you can have a game straight in your web browser, nothing to configure, nothing to download, just straight in your browser. So I'll not play it now. You can play it if you like. Um, so there's lots of examples. And in most cases, when you load an example, it'll run straight away. And you can also change it. So you can type in here and you can launch that into the browser with your changes. But also, if you're going to make lots of tiny changes, you can also have it auto-compile, and it'll make those changes immediately. And you can see them straight away. I don't like to do that. I like to have to press the button. And there's basic. This is uh, for a card game tutorial that I'm writing. Um, but there's also C, which uses CC65 under the hood. So I've got some Space Invaders, and there's going to be a scrolling message any time soon. And then some musical stamp play. And I built this on the framework from the amazing 8-bit workshop. And so there's a lot of his examples still there because I thought they were very useful and very cool. Um, and then you've got your own files here. So this is one that I've been playing with, which is a, a basic snake game. If you remember how to play that. And uh, somewhere I've got the... Uh, yeah, bat and ball game that you might have seen on my blog recently. There you go. But one thing that I've built into it 
recently is you can actually register and log in and that means that you can upload to the server and download it to any web browser as long as you log in again. So I've got a bunch of projects that I've been working on here and then I can download them from the server, I can work on them and um, upload them to the server and uh, you don't lose it because otherwise you're just storing in your browser storage which gets routinely cleared and cookies get lost and that you might lose your stuff. But as long as you download it, you'll not lose your stuff. So you can download the source file, you can download the compiled program, um, some of the systems allow you to download a tape and you can download as a zip file as well. And you can also share a link which allows anybody to load your game and play. And I've shown you Commodore 64, but uh, as I said, there's a bunch of games consoles, ColecoVision, NES, even the Vectrex and Apple II, Amstrad, Atari, this sort of classic basic interpreter. Uh, I've added VIC-20 and uh, BBC and DOSBox. And DOSBox is uh, pretty cool because with DOSBox, what you're actually able to do is have full MS-DOS. So if we uh, want to do QBASIC, we can do that. Uh, there's Turbo C. And even Turbo Pascal, which I know a lot of people will have fun with. Uh, there's also Assembler and obviously your local files. Again, the BBC version of Star Trek is particularly fun and colourful, so uh, I quite like this one. So yeah, check it out and uh, it'll kick the tyres and let me know what you think. So... I put this together and I'm putting it out there and hopefully you like it and find it useful. My tutorials are going to be based using this system and that will allow me to skip all of the installation instructions and get straight into the coding, which is, I think, the main part. Hope you enjoy it and look out for tutorials that are going to show you how to code in BASIC, code in C, code in Assembler and maybe some other stuff. Look out for it and see you soon.